Hey guys, Kyle the Death Meta Venom here bringing you my review for Dragon Ball Super episode 127 and right off the bat I'm just going to throw up my arms and say this episode was freaking amazing and the star of it all was Jiren especially when we got his backstory like honestly his backstory for a very brief moment for a very brief moment especially during his backstory I actually really had a brief moment where I was suddenly rooting for for, 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 for for just alone, universe alone to win. Especially when you really, especially when you really look at the at his backstory, because the core concept of his past reminds me very heavily of of, of when uh, when King Piccolo killed when King Piccolo killed, killed when King Piccolo killed Roshi's master, but. On a bit more of an elevated level, like uh, at least with at least with King the King Piccolo invasion, at least at least Crane managed to make managed to make it out of there. But with 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 Jiren's backstory, no one, not a single person, made it out alive. And but in in the end, what pretty much what what, what pretty much drew me back to what pretty much drew, drew me back to like I didn't I wasn't drawn back completely to Universe Seven. Winning the tournament, I actually the the backstory itself still affects me at the point where actually I want to I, I I now want both of them to kind of win. I want both of them to kind of win, and at this point, I actually would be happy with I'd be happy with a stalemate to be honest with you, if that's what it comes down to. Because what what drew me back to both sides wanting to win now is that Jiren's wish to bring back his com his lost comrades is commendable, but. It's like Android Seventeen said. He's been so consumed by his past and what happened that he's failed to appreciate the comrades he has now. All, all every single one of the Pride Troopers are indefinitely his comrades, and they and they see him that way. Even even though Jiren himself, he just kind of. Even though Jiren himself, he just treats them, I guess, like co-workers or something. Like yeah, he does. I don't think Jiren real. I think Jiren is. Has tried to, has tried to, has tried to separate himself almost from them just because he doesn't want to, just because he doesn't want to go through the exact same pain again. But it's like, yeah, it's, it's one of those things where his past is so understandable, but at the same time, it's his past and what he's feeling is so understandable. But at the same time, he's let his, he's let himself be consumed by it to the point where he he really just can't, he really just can't let go and and appreciate what he has now. In, and in many respects, it reminds me of it. it looking, looking at what Jiren, at who Jiren is now, it almost, it almost, it's almost like looking at what at the possibilities of 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 what of, of, of pretty much what of 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 pretty much what of of in the end what what of of in the end what 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 particular of what Master Roshi could could have possibly become, if certain events and people hadn't influenced him. Like if if Master if if if, if, if Roshi's master and Crane and all his all the other people in his life weren't there, and he just he lost his power and we're but losing his parents or whatnot. It's like, or even Baba, his sister, is like, yeah, it's he he, he Rat Roshi probably would have in the end ended up exactly like Jiren if 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 that exact same sh if 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 he didn't have the, the people in his life he does now. So it's like, yeah, like damn, <laughs> it's it's actually really dark and so. Android 17 is dead, but you know what? Mad respect to the man for not only surviving as long as he did, as long as he didn't, and not just in this fight, but throughout the entire tournament. In fact, the best way I can describe how Android 17 pretty much fought in this entire tournament is he was the ultimate support for Universe 7. Because Every time he went into a fight, he went in full well knowing he probably wouldn't wouldn't have been able to win. But damn it, he did everything in his power to make sure everyone else everyone else everyone else ended up getting and ended up getting out of every single perilous situation. Like every single perilous situation. Like he he, he didn't give a fuck as, as he didn't give a fuck whether or not he he would end up he would end up end up defeating the opponent. As, as long as he could, as long as he, as long as he, as long as he could do something in order to secure the victory for, in order to secure the victory for, in order to secure the victory for, for Roshi Universe Seven, and you could argue that that's kind of what Roshi was doing, but the difference here is that Android Seventeen, like the the the, the, the man, the, the man had the engine, 
I'm not trying to I'm not trying to pick on Roshi here, but Android 17 just had the ingenuity and, and the know-how, and just the fact that he was an android and would be able to survive extremely long battles. He just had everything that that, that that was needed in order to be the ultimate support unit for the ultimate support unit for Universe 17. So. Yeah, it's like, yeah, mad fucking props to Android 17. I never thought, you know what, I never thought he would have ended up being one of the main, one of the main people at the end, but you know what, damn it, I'm, I was all, the, the more we got to Android 17, the more I was invested in him. Now, now, having said that, with his death, I'm actually more convinced now than ever that the, the, the universes aren't, that the universes are in fact being destroyed, and that Goku's wish on the Super Dragon Balls is going to be to revive everyone who is everyone who is pretty much killed in this tournament, which is which would effectively also would or or just to, or just to revive every single universe and its and, and its denizens because or just revive every single universe and its denizens or so, or or just or just some kind of wish like that on the Super Dragon Balls because and and especially what I think reinforces this for me is the rumors. I've heard about the upcoming Dragon Ball movie, and I think especially versus this is and especially I think this works even more so, especially if, if what I've heard about the upcoming Dragon Ball movie is true, like all the, all the rumors I've heard about it. So uh, yeah, and uh, like aside from that, like another thing I really liked in this episode is just like is the fighting in general with you know, like I, another thing I really liked in this episode is just is is just like in the fight with Universe Three. There's actually a very heavy emphasis on the teamwork aspect in this in, in this episode, much or, or I guess just in these past couple episodes of of fighting in universe fighting universe eleven. Although in this case, I'd say it's a little more justified as the opponent is fucking Jiren. Although I will although I will say the one thing the one thing that just had me laughing my ass off is when. Is when Frieza started attacking Jiren, and just every scene of that, every little bit of that fight, actually, it's probably not even fair to call it a fight. I'd actually call it more of a curb stomp. Like seriously, this th this whole it's probably fair to call it more of a curb stomp. And you say, Frieza, I appreciate the effort you're putting in, but please sit down. This this fight with Jiren is way out of your league, bro. Like. As weird as it sounds, like I, I, I definitely got, I definitely got emotional when when Android Seventeen was killed. But if there's anything I'll take away from this fin final battle between Universe Eleven and Universe Seven, is that it's made me feel genuinely sorry for Frieza. Dude is getting curb stomped at every single turn, and it's like, bro, seriously, like Universe Eleven is way out of your league. So just sit down. And actually, maybe, maybe learn a little from you know, from Android Seventeen. If if you wanna, if you wanna help, just just be. I would just be the support. Don't go fighting these guys head. On. Don't go fighting Jiren head on. You will just keep getting kicked down again and again and a fucking again. Like seriously, learn from Android Seventeen. Be the fucking support unit. Don't don't and don't try and be the fucking tank and take this and and take Jiren on all by yourself, dumbass. It's like yeah. Oh, Frieza, 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 Frieza. Oh, boy. And, uh, yeah, like I said, and, and, and Jiren was just the, and Jiren was just the all-star of this episode, especially, especially seeing Jiren fight at full power was freaking awesome, especially in those little, with those little bursts of, of seeing him, seeing him use, I think it was Red God Key or something. Although, like honestly, if I did have any genuine problems with this episode, and believe it or not, it's really just a minor nitpick beyond belief, is that I, for the first six or seven minutes of seeing Vegeta, I, I, suppose, I suppose I suppose powering up, is powering back up and, and fighting with his ascended Super Saiyan Blue form again. It was a little questionable for me after seeing him make that huge effort to defeat in order to defeat Topo, but. I guess you could make the argument that the explosion left him more physically drained rather than energy drained, as even after powering up, he he, he was getting kicked aside several times. So, yeah, I, th I think in it's it is a questionable tightrope with that one, but I think you could you could definitely make you could definitely make the argument that what that he, he that he probably didn't use that he didn't end up using a, 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 even a whole lot of whole lot of energy in, 
energy and with, with with that blast and and he and he, and he still probably had a had a large res, had a large a large enough reserve tank left in order to go into his super saiyan ascended blue form again i don't know it's like I said, it's, it's a pretty weird one, so uh, I wouldn't know how to properly explain that one, to be honest with you. But yeah, that's that's the best I can say is, is that he didn't that he didn't have a full on that he didn't didn't have a full on tank left. Is that he didn't didn't use all of his power in that explosion. But um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I have for this review. And if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Death Knight of Anime, signing off. Later, guys. Android 17, please come back, bro.